Hello YouTube, it's uh, Art Rant, and I I feel I need to do a rant. A small letting off steam, uh, something that I do when, when I work as well. And uh, recently I started a group of paintings that I'm calling uh, Dead Men Standing. And uh, in the background here, uh, there, uh, one example of it is uh, happens to be Calvi. The guy that was found hanging under a bridge, he was the uh, Vatican banker, uh, and uh, they got rid of him probably because he was going to spill the beans on uh, all the mucky mucks in the Vatican going, uh, going nutty with their uh, money manipulations and people manipulations, and uh, he had to take the fall. Anyway, he's one of those dead men standing in my pictures. But I, you know, I started this probably about... Uh, uh, three months ago or so, two months ago, just recently, and uh, I, I, I kind of, I kind of see this, this uh, thing unraveling now with the J Japan disaster catastrophe, absolute catastrophe, sad, uh, horrible, horrible thing uh, that's going on there, and uh, you know, there, it feels like the dead men are standing. It, it feels to me like. This entire situation has turned into uh, uh, there's there's I I can't see any way out of this other than uh, getting the uh, uh, boiling oil, uh, getting cauldrons of and throwing all the tricks and the bastards who've made these really bad decisions on our behalf. We got to get rid of these people, the people within the nuclear industry. There have to be other solutions when you have a toxic substance that'll pollute the entire planet, it's really time to get out the cauldrons of boiling oil and getting rid of these people. I mean, it's just awful. It's like, I don't, I don't, I don't see how we can stand around. And the only thing I feel I'm able to do is, uh, is continue to make my paintings. And I don't know whether they're predictive or not, but certainly dead men standing feels very appropriate to me. It's like we're all dead men standing. We're not, we're not coming alive. We're not waking up. We're not moving around. So um, I'm going to continue this series because it's, uh, you know, I, I may have to include, uh, uh, who have I got? I've got uh, Che Guevara and uh, I've got one of Rembrandt's uh, uh, The Anatomy Lesson. Um, and uh, who else have I got? I got Mussolini. Uh, uh, that's a good one, you know, another dead man. But I'm thinking of including uh, living, living souls, people that are alive now, that are just completely devastating uh, our 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 planet where we're living. And uh, I think I might have to extend it to people that are alive because it's not just historically dead people that are alive and well, obviously. Um, in spirit anyway. So uh, dead men stand. Um, get out the oil. Let's let's act. Let's become active. Let us not continue to stand by when everything is being destroyed around us. Uh, as much as I hate to say this, uh, we need energy, but not this way. We can't use this energy. Let's go to uh, the technology on coal. Let's begin to burn coal in a clean way, and uh, uh, if we really need the energy, which I think we do, but let's uh, do a radical shift. Let's change, and let's not listen to these hacks like Suzuki, you know, Mr. Lightbulb Man, the man who drives diesel buses all over the place and tells everybody else to go and preserve and conserve, and these light bulbs he's promoting in California, if one of these mercury bulbs busts, you have to get a hazmat team to clean up the uh, the mess, the toxic uh, mess in these light bulbs. Uh, besides, they're like cost a fortune, and the reason I think they cost a lot is because they have computer chips in these uh, light bulbs that monitor something. Uh, I don't know how they do that, but uh, I'm not going to put them in my house. So uh, don't listen to the Suzukis of, of the world. These uh, you know wind bags that don't do anything themselves. They only go go around spouting. And uh, let's see some real action. Let Suzuki, you know, where was he at the oil spill? Never heard a thing from this guy. You know, what about Japan now? He's Japanese. Let's hear you come out against nuclear energy 
in a real way. You know, it's like, let's stop these guys producing this toxic electricity. Goodbye.